This is how you upload the correct photos into Equator. Log into Equator after you've completed the BPO. This is the photo section. This is incorrect. This has to be a file with the photos, not just one photo. This is how you do the correct one. When This is the fastest way. When you're in Taza, use Mozilla Firefox as the browser. This is the easiest one to use with Taza. Go to the property, Miami Beach, 5600 Collins. You go and find the photos that were taken by the field representative. Here they are. You right click and view. This is the photo addendum template. File, save as. Type in the address. You put today's date. File number is the ARIO number from Equator. Go to Equator. This one actually does not have a file number, so leave it blank. Go back into Taza, hit play, copy image. First you want to do the main picture of the building. Here it is, copy image, left click, copy, paste. Left click in here, back here. copy image, paste. Address verification, back here, right click copy, right click paste, street scene. Back to Taza. Right click copy. Right click paste. Unit door. Since it's a drive by BPO, that's all we need. And you put my name in here. File. Print. Please note that this addendum has many pages, has six pages of photos. When you save it as a PDF, only save one of them. File. Print. PDF. Pages 1. There's the name, create PDF, file, save as, drive by BPOs. Close Taza. Go into Equator, choose File, there it is, Subject, Drive By, Photos, Upload. And that's how it looks.
That's how the pictures work. If it's an interior BPO, the second file has to be the tax record. If it's listed, there has to be a full view version of the MLS. And then you have to upload the six comps you used with the full view view.